What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 build video. So sit back, relax, grab that popcorn, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe if you haven't already, and let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. But this is going to be your Carbine 7 build that gets you 240,000 armor per second in region. 240,000 armor per second with this combination. Not only that, but you're also getting 253% crit hit damage. And it's just it just goes up from there. 18% damage to targets out of cover. Do I need to go on? Probably not. So without spoiling any more, I'm going to go ahead and send you over to the PvP gameplay. We'll come back for the build breakdown, and then we'll do some PvE at the end. So again, hit that thumbs up, and let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, but let's roll that PvP footage. Let's go. Oh, almost. Stinger hive detected. Oh, he's dead. Hostile stinger hive detected. Right. Agent down. I think they're up top. System back online. All right. Oh, System one in front of me in the alleyway. Let me check up top. I'll turn around. Oh, yep, there's two up top, two up top. Oh my god, there's two. Hold on. Get some armor back. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh man. Oh my god. Got him, I got him. Okay. Heal, heal, heal. Oh, got him, got him. Oh my gosh. Yo, and then watch the heal. Oh my god, dude, the healing is amazing, dude. Another guy down low. Dead. Let's go, dude. Oh, one, one more, one more on the boxes. One more at the boxes. What's this guy doing? What's this guy doing? Let's go get him. Another guy in the alleyway. I see him. Get this guy first. Oh, oh no. Behind me. Follow me. Alright, no, I'm good. Okay, never mind. I'm good, I'm, I'm good. You a System disrupted. System disrupted. System restored. Supply drop is being claimed by the enemy. I love how you can take damage and then just wait a few seconds, jump back and cover, and then you boom your heal. One far left corner. Dead. Good job. Let me heal. All right, and I am good. Here we go. And one more street. All right, we're going. Oop, left side street. Yeah, but my healing does more than the uh, bleed. It's funny. Oh, and now I'm on fire. Oh my gosh. Alright, well I can heal through the fire too. Let's see? There we go. Uh oh, Seeker Mike. Oh my god. Now I'm bleeding. Oh my gosh. Alright, hold on. Let me get some stacks up. And then get in cover again. Oh my gosh. Alright, I'm healed. Let's go. Keep it going. Alright, they're mid street. Oh, I saw. I saw. I got one hit marker from down from down there. Uh, Crips uh, running up there. Hold on, bro. Ooh, come on, heal. Come on, heal. There we go. Oh, one's on me. Oh, crap. Two on me with a stinger hive. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Heal, heal, heal. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my god. Alright. Uh, he's down. Come on, let's go. Go, go, go. Get this last bout of armor. There we go, now I'm full. Nice. Good job, good job. Alright, let me get this special. Good job. Oof. Man. Now they're shooting me in the back. It'll be alright. Alright, let's get Let's go. Yep, there's another one on me. Full mid. Hostile. 
Explosive seeker mine detected. Uh, he's running back to his spawn. Never mind. Nope, he's running back to that corner. Defender Outside drone. Defender drone detected. Oop, watch out. Rogue stinger hive detected. Yeah, they're pushing maple. Hostile stinger hive detected. Agent down. Down. Oop, two's down. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, look at all the bonus armor on that one. Oop, three down. Oh my gosh. Yo, can I make this a four piece? Hold on. Let me get some heals. Alright, I'm healed up, healed up. Okay, where's the fourth? Where's the fourth? There he is, there he is. Oh, get that four piece. Get that four piece, bro. Let's go. Ah, got him. Got him. Let's go. All four dead. Moving on. Oh, ho, ho, righty then. I hope you enjoyed the PvP gameplay. Now, before we get started, do you see the black, like, uh, face mask on my character that's going through my skull mask? It's very weird. Um, this popped up during 16.1, and it's only sometimes when I'm at the base of ops does this happen. Let me know in the comment section if this is happening to your character, but I can't get it off. Um, there's nothing on my character's face except for the, the mask. So, you know, there's nothing. I don't know. No, nothing's going to change it, but for some reason it has that black mask on my character. I don't know why. I don't know. Anyways, let's jump into the build breakdown. I hope you enjoyed the PvP gameplay. So this is my Carbine 7 Umbra Initiative build, and this time I'm using the backpack that gives me 16% armor region per second for those five seconds. And for each of those seconds, I get 240,000 armor back. And it's just amazing. I love it. Um, you nearly get your entire armor back from zero, probably to like 80% just from using the Umbra. You don't have to use an armor kit. And then you can just jump out of cover, wait two seconds, jump back into cover, and then you'll be max armor again. Um, it Just the sheer survivability with this gear set is amazing. I'm using this gear set a lot recently because it's... Probably the best gear set in the game. The amount of damage you get with the amount of survivability, it just is unmatched. Because I can run out there, I can kill whatever, jump into cover, heal myself, jump back out there, kill whatever, rinse and repeat. Uh, it's, it's really good. This is a very strong build. It's one of my favorites so far. And this one has 1.5 million armor, so I think I've uh, hit the sweet spot for this Umbra initiative, um, and that is with four blue core attributes and then two red core attributes. So just remember that Umbra comes with red only, so you do have to re-roll those core attributes to armor, that way you can get the four. Um, it's really, it's really good, I love it. Now not only that, but the Busy Bee is stupid strong in PvP. Um, you can just mark enemies, you can mark enemy skills, their turrets, their drones, their seeker mines, their hives, whatever it is, and you can get that extra weapon damage instantly. It's, uh, I, I don't know. I wouldn't say it's broken because it's working as advertised, but it's really strong. It really is. Now, um, like we usually do, let's start off with the specialization. I'm using the technician specialization. Reason being is it gives me that linked laser pointer for the Carbine 7. That's right, the Carbine 7. I haven't used this AR in quite some time, but what I did is I rolled flatline on there for the amplified damage to pulsed enemies. I have damage to targets out of cover on here to go with my Fox's Prayer knee pads, and I also upgraded this to Expertise Level 10 just to show you what it's like halfway, um, because between levels 10 and 20, you have to start using those exotic components, and I am fresh out. Um, anyways, looking at this Carbine 7, we're at 89.3k total damage. That is expertise level 10. Maxed out AR damage and damage targets out of cover, but the health damage is sitting at 17.5. And then that flatline, you uh, 
enable this buff or you activate this buff from the linked laser pointer with that technician specialization. Now doing that, all you have to do is aim the weapon and you will get this flat line to uh, become enabled. You get that 15% amplified damage and it's off to the races. Now, as far as my secondary, I don't really use a secondary. So I have on there the Slayer just because it's funny. I like it. And it has the little snowflakes that pop off of my back whenever I'm running down uh, the street. It's pretty funny. Um, but you can use whatever si uh, secondary weapon you want. And then I would recommend the Busy Bee. I know a lot of people, they don't even have that unlocked yet. But once you do, I would recommend trying it out. The Busy Bee is really good. Um, especially in PvP, you can shoot the enemies or the enemy skills and uh, get your procs up pretty quick. And that's free weapon damage. I mean, the first enemy to come at you is going to melt instantly. It's <laughs> it's really funny. Now, as looking at the build, I do have four pieces of Umbra with the chest piece and the backpack. So I get the 16% armor regen from the backpack, and then I get the 100% crit hit damage and 30% RPM buff from the chest piece. So this weapon is doing some insane burst damage, and I'm getting really, really strong heals. Like I was saying, per second, I'm getting 240k armor. Um, I mean, just looking in that gameplay, you could see uh, I, it got me out of some sticky situations. And that's just being in cover for a few seconds. Now, I do have the Fox's Prayer knee pads for the damage to targets out of cover to go with my Carbine 7. And then I am running one piece of Fenris for that extra AR damage. Now doing a deep dive into the Umbra pieces. Starting with the chest piece. So the Umbra initiative gear set bonuses I get from this build, 15% crit chance, 30% reload speed. And then for the four piece, I get from the shadows and into the light. These are two different talents. One is when you're in cover, that is from the shadows. And into the light is when you are out of cover. Now, because I am running the chest piece, I get 100 stacks and I get 20 stacks per second for from the shadows. And because I am running the backpack, I get 100 stacks, 20 stacks per second, and it consumes 20 stacks per second. So that's how I'm getting the extra armor regen. Which, speaking of which, uh, let's uh, talk about the talent. So the first one is from the shadows. So while in cover, you gain 20 stacks per second up to 100, and that will give you 100% crit hit damage and increase your RPMs by 30%. Now that buff does not apply while you are shooting from cover, so you do have to get out of cover to get those buffs activated. Now once you are out of cover, you will lose two stacks per second if you are walking around, and if you are sprinting, you will lose one stack per second. And then that goes into our next one, Into the Light. So Into the Light, while you are out of cover, you will gain 20 stacks per second up to 100, and each stack will give you 0.8% armor regen. So once you're at 100 stacks, you're gonna get 16% armor regen total. Now those stacks will consume 20 stacks at a time. So that's how you're getting the 16% armor region per second, which equates to uh, 240K armor per second. Uh, the healing, I'm telling you. Um, I was using different backpacks for like Vigilance or Adrenaline Rush. And then once I put the Umbra backpack on for that healing, I mean, it's night and day, crazy strong. Anyways, <clears throat> now let's talk about the attributes. Starting with the mask, max armor, max crit hit damage with a max crit hit damage mod. Chest piece, max armor, crit hit damage, and a max crit hit damage mod. Backpack, max armor, max crit hit damage, and a max crit hit damage mod. And finally, the gloves, max weapon damage, and then max crit hit damage. Now that leaves us to the last two pieces one of which are the Fox's Prayer knee pads. These are the named Overlord knee pads with damage targets out of cover. I'm using this to go with my Carbine 7 because this gives me 8%, and my Carbine 7 gives me 10%. So it doesn't matter if it's against their armor, against their health, whatever it is, as long as they are out of cover, you get 18% damage targets out of cover. 
Now, as far as these attributes, I have max armor and max crit hit damage. You can see a trend here. And then finally, the holster. This is the Fenris holster. Now, the Fenris brand set bonus I get from this build 10% AR damage. For the attributes, I have max weapon damage, max crit chance, and max crit hit damage. Now, with all of that said and done, you should be sitting at 41% crit chance and 153 on the crit hit damage. Now, that will go up to 253 once you have the Umbra stacks activated. Um, I believe that is from the Shadows. Now, looking at the skills, you can use whatever skills you want. However, in PvP, I was using the Jammer Pulse and the Explosive Seeker Mine. Now, for PvE, I will use... Uh, let's see... I'll probably use a Revive Hive just in case stuff hits the fan. And then let's use, eh, let's use a Jammer Pulse. Whatever, I don't care. All right, now let's finish up with the stats and then we'll do some PvE gameplay. So here are the stats for your Carbine 7. 89.3k for the weapon damage, 35.7k for PvP. 41 crit chance, 153 crit hit damage, and 75 headshot. Don't forget about the health damage and damage targets out of cover. Now looking at the offensive tab, we're at 50% all weapon damage bonus and 40% AR damage bonus. So every time I'm using the Carbine 7, I'm starting off with 90% damage bonus total. Gear talents, remember we are using Into the Light and From the Shadows 100 stacks of each because we are using the Umbra chest piece and backpack. Now we are actually below 1.5 million armor. We're at 1.47, but they do round it up to 1.5. 339k for the health, and then 10% for the explosive and hazard. Now that is due to my watch level, so here's your disclaimer for all my build videos. My watch level is currently 3,770. That means all these boxes are maxed out 50 of 50. So if you are at or above shade level 1,000, you can copy and paste this build and get the exact same numbers and results. However... If you are below shade level 1000, some of these boxes will not be maxed out. So whenever you go to copy and paste my build, some of your numbers will be lower. It's okay. Don't freak out. All you need to do is become shade level 1000, and you will have all of these maxed out, and then you'll never have to worry about it again. It's not a requirement. It's not something you have to do. I'm just recommending you do that because then all your builds can be just like mine. Your character will be min-maxed, and then you never have to worry about it again. So it would behoove you to, you know, reach shade level 1000. All right, and that is it. So let's do some PvE, shall we? So what I typically do is uh, link a memorial, solo, heroic, and uh, just see how it goes. Um, I mean, that's pretty simple. I have done this enough times to where I can pretty much notice if I have a strong build or not. Um, just running this mission solo on Heroic. Okay, so let's get our stacks up and we are good to go. Here we are. We need you to secure the memorial and remove the True Sun's forces. They maintain this outpost. ambush the behind me now. Direct threat to the campus. All right. Show you the healing, so watch. And then there's your healing. And then look, healing again. Got a visual on additional hostiles and in the memorial boom. compound. Nice. They're moving south. There's a gate between you. It looks oh wow, I got around the ambush and they didn't even fight me. Nice. Very cool. Alright, we got this. We got this.
Boom. That should be it. There we go. Not too shabby. Get your stacks up and then go. Run! Now, if you haven't yet, hit that thumbs up. Support the channel by subscribing. And let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I am really liking the Umbra Initiative. I think it's super strong. It does promote a different style of gameplay where you have to, like, get into cover, get out of cover, you know, things like that. But it's really worth it. I mean, look at this healing right here. I mean, I never really have to use a med kit unless I just want the, uh, you know, the instant. There we go. I mean, even still, just sitting here, you can see the healing. Vital signs critical. Uh, they blow up after the fact. Stupid. And then you can see the healing right here. I mean, it's really, really nice. There's another elite out here. Yep. Nice. Run back for this heavy. Oh. Snap. Heavy's taking forever, so we can try to capitalize. Oh. Gotcha. Where's this last guy? Way over here. Come on, man. What are you doing way over here, bro? All clear. I repeat. The I think he was about to try to jump clear. on that turret. Now that can't be all of them. Check the interior while I get Henry's people to maintain the Run! Perimeter. So typically we get this done in under 10 minutes uh, with really strong builds. It's around like, you know, eight to seven minutes. And then with really amazing builds, it gets down to like six minutes. I think my fastest doing this mission's been five minutes with a Lady Death build. Um, but yeah, we're definitely not doing that here. Especially with me having to sit into cover five seconds, get my stacks, and then running out here. We're getting it done, though. Since I've turned the memorial into a base, there's an area beneath you with increased security. Run! Isaac can't access data on this location. We got Stay this. Alert. I don't know what you're walking into. Let me know what you guys think about the build in the comment section below and what weapons you're using with the Umbra Initiative. Um, I'm kind of curious to see what everyone's running with this Umbra Initiative. I'm trying to run all of my favorite weapons just because uh, I'm really enjoying this. Like, I want to see what it does for all of my favorite weapons. I think one of the next ones I want to do is the uh, Shield Splinterer. We're going to have to figure out how to make that one a little unique, though. We'll see. Immediate medical assistance. 
assistance needed. Yeah, the healing is going to be too slow. Come on, go, go, go. Oh my gosh. Serious trauma Ouch. detected. Let's get through that bleed. You can see that healing. And then that's with all stacks. And then sit in there for another second, two seconds, full armor. Not bad for the healing. I finished you, Aiden. But this is doing uh, horrible things to my overall time. Probably going to make like a 11 minute now. We'll see. We're on the last room up here, so we'll see how fast. I don't know. I feel like the 51 rounds is too little for the uh, carbine as far as the uh, damage output. Then I do stuff like this. There we go. We got this. I'm just gonna have to sit and cover again for five seconds. That should keep them from getting more of those mortars. Three, two, one. Boom. And here we go. Yo, he's running, bro. This guy runs way over here. Heal up. Yep. I have to get that box. Good work. Go on ahead, back up. The team from the campus is taking position inside the memorial. There we go. That's it. GG's. Give me all that loot. I need the materials. All right. And that is it. Showed you PVE, showed you PVP. That's my Carbine 7. I'm Kamikaze Von Doom. Take care, everyone. Hit that thumbs up, subscribe. You know the YouTube deal. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, everyone. Peace. Today, we dealt a great blow to the true right, sons let's see what... We probably did like an 11 minute. Cache of chemical weapons and eliminated the stronghold near the campus. Yep, 1118, 1.1 billion damage. GG's. All right, everyone. See you in the next one. Peace.